<coughs> Trash. Hello, everyone. You know what? I've been wondering how many times I've said hello on my channel so far. I mean, did I say it in every video? I feel like I literally said it in every video. Maybe not in my first one because I didn't speak in my first one. Hmm. Welcome back to this very bothering little piece of my background. You probably wouldn't even have noticed if I hadn't said it, right? <laughs> but you know, I'm a queen of exposing myself. Also, what I just noticed in the viewfinder, this blue is very intense and everything else is basically washed out of my hair. Crazy. Not gonna lie, that looks kind of stupid. Today we will be finally... <laughs> what? <laughs> Today we will... We... Today we will finally be carrying on with my TikTok series. I actually haven't done a TikTok food trend hacks video in such a long time and I gotta admit I kind of miss it. I really enjoy these kinds of videos. I definitely found some very cool things again. Let's just get into it. Do you like my pink polo shirt? <laughs> Why do I feel like I'm trying to keep up like a very awkward conversation? So how are you today? All right, let's get into this. I don't know why, 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 sorry. So the first thing we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be making ourselves some breakfast at 4.20 p.m. <laughs> I wanna try pesto eggs. It's very, very easy and very simple. That's the same thing. You basically put pesto into the pan and then the eggs and then you have this pesto egg mixture and I've seen it a lot on TikTok. I love pesto and I love eggs. So that's like a great combination for me. And I think um, we're just gonna go to the kitchen and we're just gonna make those motherfucking pesto eggs. All right, so I have my preheated, pre-buttered, pan. I got some red pesto and some green pesto. Okay, this is not what it's called. I'm sorry. Pesto rosso e pesto alla genovese. With truffle actually. Mit truffle. I actually usually do not buy pesto alla genovese that much because I don't like it that much, but maybe it's gonna be amazing with my eggs. So we're gonna try both of these. I'm gonna put the red one on the left and the right one on the Green? <laughs> I don't actually know if you're supposed to butter the pan or oil it. I mean, there's already oil in there, so maybe it's not even necessary. Oh, why is it so hot? Why does it do that? My butter is burning. Okay, maybe it's gonna be like a mix of both. I don't know. <laughs> oh, oh, no, go to the right, to the right, to the right. Ah. I think the butter was very unnecessary. This is so oily now. I mean, you might as well also just put pesto on your bread and then the egg on top. But like, who am I to judge? Here's my bread. And I'm just gonna put some cottage cheese on there. Just, oops, wow, this plate is so fucking annoying. But doesn't it look so good, Vincent? It looks so good. You wish you would like eggs right now, right? Time to eat the eggs. Let's start with the green one. Hmm, that was not overwhelming, but I think mostly because I don't like this pesto too much. Let me try the red one. Wait, don't get me wrong, it's not disgusting. It's just a little unnecessary. I just really feel like I don't taste the egg anymore because the pesto is very overpowering, both of the pestos. And I really, really love pesto, but maybe just is noodle sauce. I don't think this dish necessarily is something for me. I'm still gonna eat all of it. Like, it's still fine. I just, I just think it's a little unnecessary. But I can also see why people like it. Let's just say it that way. I do prefer my fried eggs without pesto. All right, so the next thing we're gonna try, I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm very excited about this. And it is Cheetos pickles. So what you wanna do is, you know, just like soak the pickles in Cheeto juice and then like just like soak it for like 24 hours and then supposedly it should taste very good and i mean um personally i am a very huge fan of pickles and cheetos and i think this is just the right hack for me let's say hello to naomi from yesterday
I just realized Naomi from yesterday doesn't speak, so I'm gonna explain to you what I'm doing. I mean, it's kind of self-explanatory. I'm just emptying my pickle juice, pickle jar, pickle juice. <laughs> Next, I'm gonna soak my Cheetos in the pickle juice, and these Cheetos were old anyway, so they were not that crunchy anymore, and I think that was definitely the best option for them. I also added some leftover Takis. Please listen to the sound it made. It was kind of mesmerizing. All right, everyone, it is 20 minutes later. I think we can fill it back into my pickles. She's seen better days. Oh, oh. <laughs> wow, I'm so risky with my white shirt. <gasps> oh, what a mess. I don't think we really filled it up, to be honest. Okay, so we don't have enough pickle juice, so I'm just gonna fill the rest up with water and a little bit of salt so we can fill this up like completely. I also gotta add a little bit of vinegar. I'm just gonna let this soak a bit more. Tasted better things. <laughs> Back to you, Naomi from the future. Technically, it's not Naomi from the future, it's actually Naomi from the now. My Cheeto pickles! It looks deadly! Just how I like it. I even scratched off the label for you so we would see it in all its red Cheeto glory. I think it's been soaking for exactly 23 hours. Look how red it is! It looks so good. Hmm? <coughs> Mm -hmm. It does taste like pickles still. <laughs> it is a little bit spicy. Only the aftertaste gives you a little bit of a Cheeto vibe. Like first when you try it, it literally just tastes like a normal pickle. Then the spiciness kicks in and then you have a little bit of that Cheeto chip flavor. I'm not gonna lie to you, I could probably eat the whole fucking jar. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna speak straight facts and the straight up truth. It's exactly how you said. Right? It's good, right? In the beginning, yes. In the middle, yes. I don't like the Cheeto flavor in the end because it kind of tastes old. It, do it does taste old. Yes! Though. But the good thing is my Cheetos were old anyway. But maybe that's also because... <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Guys, I'm not gonna lie to you. I think this is only a trend for you if you really love pickles. Like, if you're not interested in pickles and this whole gherkin situation, then I don't think this is worth the effort for you. I will definitely devour these, but just so you know, it may not be for everyone. The next thing we're gonna try is the famous TikTok mac and cheese. It's not really famous, to be honest. I actually only see like one or two videos, but I do find them very intriguing. So it is literally just cup mac and cheese, so I don't think it's like a new thing and like TikTok invented it. But I've actually never tried it or seen it before, but I can imagine that it already exists. It looks very, very quick to make and it also looks kind of delicious, even though I'm not like a huge fan of microwaves. But we're still gonna try it for everyone who loves microwaving shit. Maybe this is your mac and cheese recipe. <laughs> So I bought these. It says it's Hörnchen. I mean, it's obviously a German word, which kind of means like horny. <laughs> So this is what the Hörnchen look like. I tried to get like the smallest pasta possible so we can make them in the microwave. Yes. Now we're gonna put some water in and now we're gonna microwave this for four minutes. I've never microwaved pasta. It seems kind of wrong to me, but I'm gonna do what the TikTok tells me to. All right, I'm back with my very hot Mug. <laughs> this is my microwave the uh, Hörnchen pasta. All of the water has evaporated, which makes sense. I think I should have added a little more. Next, you're supposed to add a little bit of milk, some pepper, and salt. Now we're gonna add some cheddar cheese. Lot of it, because we're making mac and cheese. We need a lot of cheese. And now we're gonna put this into the microwave again for 30 seconds. Said. I've got my mac and cheese! Yum! Mmm, that looks so good. <laughs> All the cheese just melted into one big piece of cheese. 
I mean, the noodles are very al dente. I kind of want to try this again. I'm just going to use these noodles. I'm going to drain the milk, add some water again, put it into the microwave, and then add a little bit of milk and more cheese. Guys, I'm back. So here's my second attempt. It looks a lot better, actually, because it's not that milky anymore. Look at my makeup tape. Oh, it looks so good. That's good. That's actually really good. What the fuck? Vincent! I know you're cooking, but I also cooked something for you. It's my homemade mac and cheese. There's all the ingredients in there you like. Cheese, milk, and chien. Doesn't this not just taste like how you would expect mac and cheese to be? Fuck you. Give me back my mac and cheese. <laughs> I think I would do this again if I would crave mac and cheese. This is like super quick and well, don't do it the way I did it the first time. I'm just glad I'm so good at improving myself and learning from my mistakes. So for the next trend, we're gonna be trying lettuce tea. Maybe you've heard of it, maybe you haven't. I haven't heard of this my whole life and I was kind of bamboozled when I saw it on TikTok. So what you do is you basically make a tea with lettuce, Romanian lettuce, Romana salad. I hope it's called Romanian salad. So you just pour hot boiling water over your lettuce leaf let it soak for a little bit and then you drink it and what happens then supposedly it should work as a sedative so it should make you very tired and very you know like drowsy what's the word drowsy drowsy and i do myself have some sleeping issues from time to time so that actually is like a great experiment for me lettuce has high leaves of lactinin and lactocerium sorry i really don't know how to pronounce that this particular thing makes you sleepy, relieves mild pain, and promotes relaxation. Oh, this website says you could also probably just eat a bunch of lettuce, but it seems more nighttime to have a warm drink. <laughs> Don't use iceberg salad or whatever. You have to use red romaine, green romaine, red leaf lettuce, or green leaf lettuce letters actually i already tried it last night so we're gonna rewind time again and past naomi is gonna show you how she made her romaine lettuce tea and if this worked i think it's time for some good night's sleep tea love i'm just using mini romana this type of salad supposedly this is the salad which should work the best i boiled my water I guess now we just wait, I don't know, 10 minutes or something? There isn't really a recipe for this, as I've just seen this one TikTok without any explanation. So I'm just gonna do my own recipe. All right, so it's been 10 minutes. I think we can actually take this out now. That's bitter. Here's my tea. Actually, maybe I'm gonna add a little bit of honey in there. Just for flavor. I need more honey. Nothing better than drinking a hot drink while it's over 30 degrees outside. Way too hot to drink a coffee at night. That is not a coffee. I think it's already working. <laughs> I feel so weird. It's like the funny girl on YouTube. <laughs> Do you like my makeup, by the way? I'm just wearing eyeliner. <laughs> this is my eyeliner. This is the reality. When I apply eyeliner on just my skin, it just never holds. Like there always has to be a base, like foundation or concealer and powder. But if I just do this, it says bye real fast. That's my 11 p.m. makeup advice for you, honey baby, booby bee, babu. Yes, it's 11 p.m. by the way. So if this doesn't make me sleepy, we both have a problem. Sipping tea with Naomi. The new podcast where we talk about drama. Drama. <gasps> I'm gonna go now and get ready for bed. And I'm gonna keep you guys updated. <laughs> it's now 40 minutes later. 38 actually. I am very tired. I just wanna sleep. My fan is on. I hope you can't hear it. Can you hear it? Where is it? No, I think it kind of worked. I'm very tired. I don't know if I would have been tired anyway, but I'm tired. I'll update you guys later. No, I'm actually gonna be sleeping later. Good night. All right, everyone, I just woke up and I literally had the weirdest night ever. I don't think it's necessarily just because of the salad tea because I do have some weird nights here and there anyway. I mean, I fell asleep super, super fast. Normally I would have to be on my phone, just like, I don't know, watching One Piece, playing a game or I don't know. I could just 
put my phone away and just which is a huge plus which is pretty amazing i gotta say and then i woke up at like 3 30 thinking it was morning and then i kind of like started imagining things in my bed like i thought there was something laying on my bed and then i had to like grab it and just check if it's what i think it is but it was never what i think it was it was just my bed sheets and i dreamed the craziest shit ever but I, I again this is like my normal sleeping schedule <laughs> but i did for a fact get really tired and fall asleep very easily so this definitely worked in my opinion so if you have sleeping problems maybe just try drinking salad also i read online that some people told about their experience that they felt kind of drowsy and tired the next day and couldn't really do anything but i just feel like I always feel, I think. Anyway, back to future Naomi again. That must be such a contrast between I just woke up Naomi and this full on makeup Naomi. <laughs> That was actually great. I really enjoyed that. <laughs> Sleeping. I didn't actually think this would work that well and I will definitely make this again whenever I know that I want to fall asleep. <laughs> For our last hack or trend, I think it's more of a hack this time though. We're gonna be making something that I actually saw on YouTube and not TikTok. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so fake. So I actually saw one video of Nebom. She is a food YouTuber and she makes these very, very relaxing food videos, just like vlogging everything she's eating that day. And I saw this one video of hers where she made topoki, which is like a spicy Korean rice cake dish. And in this video, I saw that she made rice cakes with rice paper. And normally you can buy rice cakes just like already as rice cakes either frozen or sometimes not frozen or you can make them yourself with like rice flour and stuff but in her video she rolled rice paper together and made the little rice cakes with the rice paper to me this is absolutely mind-blowing because it just kind of really makes sense but no one ever thought of it before obviously except now someone must have thought of this idea <laughs> And I'm pretty sure this also is already like happening on TikTok. I just didn't look it up, but I'm pretty sure there's a lot of TikToks already on this topic. I myself would be worried that it would just taste like, you know, rice pepper glued together, <laughs> which it is. But I'm not here to judge, I'm here to try it out. So let's make some topoki with rice paper rice cakes. So guys, here's my rice paper. <laughs> Vincent, you're definitely 100% my type on rice paper. So literally all you need is this type of rice paper. I'm pretty sure you can actually get this like anywhere. And if you can't get it at your local supermarket, then just go to your local Asian supermarket. And I'm just gonna take three pieces of rice paper. That's actually four. And this is gonna be our rice cake. I also got my bowl of water right here and we're just gonna dip it in there. I'm honestly not sure if I should oil the cutting board because this will obviously be very sticky, but I'm just gonna try to do it without oiling it first. <laughs> Dippity dip. Dippity doop. I think there is some improvement possible with my technique. Maybe I should dip them in like one by one and then just put it, put them on each other, you know? I'm gonna get better at this, don't worry guys. Yeah, let's just try to roll it now. Let's try to do it very tight. I don't think you have to oil the surface. I mean, it is very sticky, but you can still get it off. A humongous rice cake. Wow, we have three rice cakes. I want to do a cheese one now because you can also put cheese in it. Let me quickly do the base. Here's my cheese. I just have this, I don't know, Schmelzkäse? <laughs> cheese bread in a slice form. I don't know, I would just try. I never work with this type of cheese, but I thought maybe it would be good for this. Yeah. <laughs> and now we are going to flip the sides because we don't want it to like leak. Then we roll it up again. Oh, this is gonna be such a thick one. <laughs> oh, who's gonna eat that? 
that. Well, me, I guess. And I'm gonna try one more using these cheese strings. Always my savior and helper in need. All right, we're gonna flip it over again. And then we're gonna roll it just like that. Yeah, that looks great, actually. Look, yummy. Let me try one more with the melted cheese. Wait. Yes. This is also pretty thick, but I think this is still like a good size. Now I'm rocking this game. Let's also try to push the air bubbles out. Amazing. Here are all of my rice cakes. <laughs> also got a rice burrito. <laughs> so here are my ingredients for the topoki sauce. So just letting you know, every topoki recipe is different. Like, of course, you have like the main ingredients like gochujang paste or red chili pepper powder. And I'm just going to do my version. So please, I hope no one is offended by how I make this. So first off, we're going to add three tablespoons of gochujang paste, which is also like a red chili pepper paste. I'm just going to mix it in the pan just for convenience. I'm also going to add some minced garlic. Just on top. <laughs> Some sugar, soy sauce. I'm also gonna add the gochugaru, the red chili pepper flakes. But not a lot because they are very spicy. Now we're just gonna add some water. I'm also gonna add some onion and some spring onion. I'm scared for my shirt. <laughs> and then you just let it boil or simmer for a little bit. Normally you would already add the rice cakes, but we do not have rice cakes, or at least we do not have rice cakes that need to be cooked, which means we're just gonna, you know, prepare the sauce that way. So it's been simmering for a little bit. I think we can now add the rice cakes. I think this is pretty much done. Normally you would add some fish cakes too, but I'm not like a huge fan of fish cakes or at least not of the ones I've tried so far. So I just leave them out and also I like a good veggie version, you know? Let's add our rice cakes. I'm <laughs> not sure what to do with this one. <laughs> We're just gonna let it simmer in this for like three more minutes. Oh no, guys, the cheese is leaking out of the big one. Or oh, no. I'm also gonna add a little bit of potato starch so we can thicken up the sauce. Also gonna put a little bit of cheese on top. And we're also gonna garnish it with some spring onion. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Stopoki time. Mmm, this is good. It's like really chewy though. Let's try the cheesy long one now. Mmm, that's amazing. I think that's better because you only have like one layer of the rice paper, so it's not like that chewy. Mm -mm. The cheese is not good. I would stick with mozzarella. Do you think I will like this one? <laughs> Let's eat the mozzarella one. Mm. If you like spicy food, you will love topoki. I know, I need to do my outro. It is so good. All right, everyone. Those were all of my TikTok trends slash hacks for today. I actually gotta admit, I think I liked everything I tried. I think my least favorite were the pesto eggs, which were also not bad. So that means this video, it was a huge success. I'm not gonna lie. That's it for this video. Tell me if you've tried anything out of this video or you wanna try anything. I still got my Cheeto pickles right here. I'm gonna say goodbye for now. Stream Naomi. Always sounds so weird if I say stream Naomi because no one will know whatever that means. But it's actually my song. Do you wanna be me? I got a recipe. Yeah. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media which is Naomi John on Instagram. Naomi John on TikTok. And the Naomi John on Twitter. Oh yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye. I'm gonna take my Cheeto pickles with me now. Too bad. <laughs>